Hello everyone, this is Rage Engage here. Um, so, I'm here to uh, give you a little bit of information that I wish was given to me. Because I just spent, what time is it? 8.50 in the evening? I just spent a couple hours fucking dealing with this shit. I'm very pissed off. Because the overseer documentation does not help. There, there's a, just zero documentation for this shit. And they just say, Docker, right? There's no native Windows app. Now, I'm I'm not an idiot. A little bit of a rant here, so I apologize. Um, if you go down to the description, I'll put a time code for when the actual tutorial starts. Because I know you're like me and you don't want to hear this. But if you're also like me, you can understand I need to vent. I am very ticked off. Little bit of background. I run a Windows uh, based server. It runs on Windows 11 Enterprise, if I'm not mistaken, or whatever. It doesn't really matter. It runs on Windows 11. I have stuff that needs to run on Windows. I need to run Windows. I cannot spin up a Linux computer. I could build another computer, but that costs money. I'm not going to VM because I'm also using a good chunk of the RAM to run on a private server not private server, uh, well, technically, but Minecraft. So I really don't want to virtualize a full virtualization and then possibly have issues. It's just a pain in the ass. I don't want to deal with it. I just want a native app. Overseer does not like native apps. They say, here's a Windows app. We're fucking done. On one hand, I understand the frustration of developers and they don't want to deal with multiple apps. Then fucking fork it for all I care. Just, we need a native app for Windows. And realistically, a native app for Mac. I'm going to stick up for you Mac guys here. This is not okay. But, we're getting to the time. Because I'm going to show you how I got it running on Windows. Number one, um, unfortunately, I can't redo all this. Uh, step one, make sure virtualization is enabled so you're going to go into your bios right you're going to press f2 or delete i'm going to give you a brief rundown of all the stuff i did that you can't see um there's plenty of tutorials for this but this is more specifically the docker's portion but i want to give you the the rundown step one f2 or delete gets you in your bios on boot right hopefully we already understand that but i'm going to make sure we're all on the same page go into your bios uh, different BIOSes will have it by different names. Look up your motherboard. Uh, but you want to enable virtualization in your BIOS. All right. Uh, for mine, it was an MSI uh, X370 board. It's called SVM. It was a pain in the ass to find. I hate it. Um, then you got to go in, I believe, and enable Hyper-V in Windows Features. So what you're going to do is you're going to hit Start. Windows Features, right? Easy. You're going to Hyper-V. You're going to enable that. You're going to have to restart your computer when you do that, too. So you're going to restart your computer to enable the virtualization, and then Hyper-V. I don't know if you can do them out of order. I'd recommend staying with the order. So, great. You've got virtualization. Then you're going to go Google, and you're going to find and download Docker Desktop, right? It's also going to require you to download uh, what's called WSL, Windows something for Linux, subsystem for Linux. Um relatively simple uh it should i believe download with that i'm sorry i can't help you with that further my setup was fucked up for me figuring out and i had to fuck around and figure it out i wish i could provide more info to that than that i really do i'm also sorry i'm not a better uh speaker i'm just very miffed um but hopefully hopefully this will help someone who is in the same absolutely agonizing position that I was in before because we're going to pull this up. Ignore the background. Uh, we're going to go to overseer.dev, right? It is a really cool system. Um, and this is why I wanted it. This is their documentation. Docker. Okay, we don't have... You, now, let, now we're going to think like me. Docker. We don't have Docker, right? Uh, Unraid. Not using Unraid. Okay. Windows. That's me. Okay. So... Please refer to Docker Desktop for Windows user. Well, I'm going to say ignore that because what? See, see, they just immediately right off the gate go here, go to another page. And you want to see what that page looks like? 
<laughs> you don't want. <laughs> oh boy, I'm already lost. Oh, oh boy. Sign in. Yeah, you're gonna. I signed in. I made an account. Um, that's up to you. I don't know if you have to. I was very frustrated. Um, so this is where I really get lost, though, because they really don't do a good job discussing it. So, for details on how to install Docker for Windows, okay, that yeah, you, see, it, there's no need to install. See, they just go off, and it's like, what, huh, what? Especially if you think you're coming into this like me, thinking there's a Windows install. There is not. It is a Linux install on Docker's. I don't know what this is. Um... I thought I had that. I guess we'll find out if my database gets corrupted or not. See, the problems will continue until morale improves. Because we're just going to throw this at you. I don't know what this means. W I guess they're talking about the second version of Windows Subsystem. How do I know if I have that? I don't know. I don't feel like fucking Googling it. So, whatever the time code is, here is the point you probably need. This is the sort succinct of it. How do you install this onto Docker Desktop? You've got everything else set up. If you didn't see that, uh, you probably jumped ahead too far. I know you're frustrated. Go back and watch the video. It's a little long-winded. I tried to give it short and simple. You're probably going to have to look up other uh, tutorials for some of the stuff, though. I'm very sorry. I know how it feels. Trust me. So... First, you're going to create a volume to store the configuration data. This is relatively easy. You're going to go into Docker Desktop, right? And you don't have to do this. This is this is stupid. Ignore that. Docker Desktop app. That's what we're doing. Um, this may not be the recommended way, but if you just want it set up like I did, this is what you do. Open. You're going to go into. Hold on. You're going to go into Volumes, right? And you see what I did? You're going to create a new one. I'm just going to give it. And I would recommend sticking with their default name. I know you're like me. You probably want to customize it. You kind of don't fuck that shit. No. Stick with default. Overseer with two R's dash data. Right? Then hit create. And then it just tell, sends you off into fucking space. Then create and start the overseer. So it's like, first, do this, 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 and this. All right? Okay, cool. Then do everything else. <laughs> Where am I supposed to put this? Real easy. I'm going to copy all this. You're going to open up a command line administrator. If you want to know what this is, it's called Terminal App. It's in the Windows Store. It looks really cool. All you have to do, paste it in there. I can't hit enter because it'll fuck my shit up, but you can hit enter. Boom. And then it, you can see what it did it, after I ran it twice. You can see what it did. It just ran through, and that was the end of it. What? Huh? What? It, 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 you're just left back. You're dumped back to you know, floating here, whatever they call it. But guess what? If you go into containers, there it is, and it's running. And the best part is, boom. Hopefully this helps some people. Uh, feel free to bitch in the comments. Get a little mad. I understand it. I really do. Um, I will respect the fact you are mad i will try to respect your time as best i can and i will try to answer any questions that i am able to answer overseer if you're watching this just fucking make a windows application for fuck's sake just avoid this whole fucking headache after i met on my rant on reddit I did it so you don't have to. I hope you guys have a better evening or day or whatever time it is. Get some sleep if it's 3 a.m. You really need it. Thank you.